After the overwhelming response to our previous video on the Nikon Z90, welcome to another video on the highly anticipated and groundbreaking camera. Today, we take a journey to discuss the latest updates and speculation about the Nikon Z90, with whispers that it could be the successor to the revered D500. Excitement levels are rising as we foresee its potential to shake up the photography market. Before we get to the video, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel to help this video reach more people. Now let's get to the video. While concrete details are still scarce, our estimates point to an earlier than expected release date for the Z90. First of all, we have to consider the fact that Nikon statistically releases fewer cameras per year than other brands. It is debatable whether this really makes Nikon more valuable or whether it is really trying to keep the quality at a higher level. In 2023, Nikon introduced the ZF, one of the most bought cameras with a retro design, and the Z8. For this year, there seems to be only one camera that is currently guaranteed, the Z6 Mark III, which we recently shot a video of. We will most likely see two cameras from Nikon this year, but let's say that we will also see a third camera. The reason for this is that brands may try to put more effort into the 2024 Summer Olympics. The Z90's enhanced video capabilities got everyone excited in the last video. Rumors suggest that this powerful camera will be capable of shooting 4K at 60fps, with potential slow motion options reaching up to 180fps. Nikon is clearly aiming to set a new standard in videography excellence. Precision is crucial, especially for action photographers and the Z90 looks set to deliver. Advanced algorithms promise to recognize subjects with unparalleled accuracy to ensure you never miss an important moment, whether you're capturing wildlife or fast-paced sports. The Z90's burst mode is rumored to reach 15 plus FPS, allowing you to freeze split-second moments with ease. Nikon is doing its best to keep up with the demands of dynamic shooting environments. As expectations rise, Let's revisit our estimates for the Z90's price range. Positioned between $1,500 and $2,000, Nikon aims to strike the perfect balance between affordability and cutting-edge features, making it an attractive option for enthusiasts and professionals alike. With up to six stops of built-in image stabilization, the Z90 keeps your shots crisp and clear, even in challenging shooting conditions. The Z90 is expected to feature a high-resolution viewfinder and OLED display. Minimal lag and exceptional sharpness will make composing your shots an absolute pleasure. We already talked about the features in the first video, but I wanted to do a very brief overview in this video for those who didn't watch that video. But now I want to drop the bombshell. We can see a big innovation on the design side. From the moment Nikon launched the Z8, it attracted a lot of attention from users. Even if some users complain that the features are not enough, they say they like the design very much. If you watched our Z6 Mark III video, we mentioned in that video that we will probably see the new Z6 with a design similar to the Z8. There are actually two possibilities here. The first possibility is that if the new Z6 comes with the design of the Z8, we will most likely see a new and different design in the Z90. The second possibility is that if the Z6 Mark III is very well received, we will see the Z90 with a similar but more minimalist design. From a price point of view, the Z90 could be a great device for beginners and those looking for more practicality. Our personal opinion is closer to the first possibility because the Z8 is an above average device on the market. We think the new Z6 will be positioned closer to it, but whichever possibility is true, we are sure that we will see a very nice design in the Z90. All in all, there is a very serious audience waiting for the Z90, and we are sure that Nikon will surprise everyone this time. In the meantime, let us know what you think about this camera and video in the comments. Before leaving the video, you can support us by hitting the like button below, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the latest updates on the market. Until next time, take care.